So today we've been welding together some vent tanks. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, get the tank put together for the Datsun behind me here. I've always wanted to try sanding one of these things. I see guys that uh, instead of trying to keep them looking like fresh peeled laser film aluminum with no fingerprints, they actually sand them and give them a more even look, you know, something that's not as delicate as far as touching it and getting fingerprints all over it and whatever. You can see this one got some streaks on it. You just barely touch it with anything. And I try to clean these the best I can whenever I ship them, but it's just about impossible to get all the streaks and stuff off the aluminum. So what I'm going to do with my tank for my car is I'm going to sand it. So we got this little palm sander here, a little cheap Amazon deal. And this is what I actually use to smooth my work table out whenever I weld on it and the tanks try to ground to the table and stuff like that. It'll make little uh, pitted spots that'll scratch the tanks when you move them around on here. So I sand it down with this. I'm gonna sand my entire tank with this prior to welding it. I've got it all tacked together now. For my tank, I'm gonna use uh, 16s going in, which is pretty standard with an eight drain. Now this is our mid-size vent tank. Uh, I don't know how many gallons it holds, but it's uh, it's almost half what the large one is, but that's gonna be plenty big enough for my car. We'll set it in the back of it and show you where we're gonna put it. Basically gonna straddle the X right there in the back and the stack's gonna come off a little bit offset. I'm not gonna try to put it in the middle because I like having this brace for the back glass right here. It keeps it from flopping around and I can bolt it down right here. So I'm just gonna come right up. It'll still be pretty much in the middle of the glass, but it'll be kind of off-centered. It'll be the middle this way, but not this way. And this will work out because I can do one tab in the middle on this side and then two tabs on this side. And that's how I think I'm gonna mount it. Plus it'll be lean back, so it'll drain really good out the drain hole in the back. So let's try sanding this thing and see how it turns out.
there it is guys that is the first time i have ever sanded aluminum down like that that i'm going to be welding i have always just left it natural peeled the laser film off and went to town but now this vent tank is completely sanded it's got a nice brush look it's really slick i'm gonna have to wipe this thing down you've seen me blow it off but i'm sure in these well joints and stuff we've got aluminum dust and all kinds of stuff we need to wipe it down and clean it before we weld it so interesting look definitely not as finicky you can see i'm wiping it with my fingers if i did that on a natural piece of aluminum there would be scratches from my skin you can see the gray coming off right there but you can rub that as hard as you want right there and it doesn't doesn't change anything about it maybe that's why a lot of fabricators do this so it's not so finicky to mess with and maybe i'll start doing it a little bit more i don't know just figured i'd try it on my own since this is probably going to get powder coated anyway so let's clean it up and see how it welds
So this actually turned out really, really good. I'm kind of digging the way it looks. It welded fantastic, especially being sanded like this, because sometimes when I wipe them off with acetone, I will miss a little bit of that black residue from the laser along the side. You can't even see it with your eye, but when you're welding it, it's like when you get right at it, you can see it float to the top of the puddle. By then it's too late. You just hope it, uh, it burned through it enough for you to not really see it, but didn't really have any trouble with that, uh, with it being sanded like this. So welded really good. Got the 16 fittings on there. Got an eight drain on the back. And it's basically ready to mock up in the car now. Remember, I don't never put my stacks on stuff that I do in here. I just, I'll put them in there and then fit them up to the back glass in the car. It's just way easier than trying to trim them down uh, from a really long height like we ship them, but we have to do it like that as far as selling them online. I'm thinking now we might put it on this side instead of the other side just to get things kind of spread out. I'm sitting on that side, so it'll be, uh, I'll have some weight over there, so if we can get some weight over here, even if it's a little, the little things, it'll make it more evenly distributed. That kind of shows you how it's gonna look in there. Stack's not gonna have to be really high because the window's not really that much high above the vent tank, but that should, Give us plenty of crankcase venting for a couple thousand horsepower or whatever we end up making. So eventually I'll get some tabs on this thing and get it mounted in place and then I'll address cutting the hole in the Lexan in the back for the stack. But probably one of the easiest jobs that I've got on this thing left to do. But I really enjoy welding them things together and I just wanted to sand it just to see what it looked like and see how it welded up because I've never done it before. So you got to watch, subscribe uh, to watch some more stuff. See you guys.